Why do women seem to gain weight during menopause? On average, women will gain about seven to 10 pounds doing nothing different in their life. They don't change their diet, their nutrition, they don't change their exercise patterns, they're not changing their sleep. Just the fact that their hormones have changed, their body will put on weight. Their body composition changes. Why? Because your system is changing. And if you're eating, and exercising according to what your old body was and not updating that to what the new body that you're living in, your system is gonna have a negative stress response to it, which means it's gonna put on some protective weight. Yes. So I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. I am author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. You can pick them up and read all about the things where I talk about eating for your hormones and your cycle. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe to that as well as subscribe here on YouTube. <laughs> that way you stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. So when we look at weight gain in menopause, it's um, there's a few different factors when we talk about your overall body function and why it's gonna be shifting, right? Why it's gonna be shifting. Um, when we just say hormones, right? There's some specific things related to estrogen and progesterone that are important for your overall metabolism. Estrogen helps your system build and maintain lean muscle. Muscle is hungry. Muscle is going to burn a lot of energy throughout the day naturally. So if you are going through perimenopause and you enter menopause and you are not shifting your protein levels, right? So you're going to need to have increased protein and increased strength training to make sure you're maintaining that muscle, then your system will have decreased muscle, which is going to then trigger your system to add more adipose tissue. And it's related to that natural decline in estrogen. It's not bad to have a decline in estrogen. This is normal. This is natural. This is supposed to happen. We just need to make sure we're updating what we're eating, how we're exercising to adjust for that. Now, estrogen isn't the only thing that helps build lean muscle in your system. Testosterone and your androgens also do that. Also, as the body ages, those androgen levels will decline naturally, but we also wanna make sure they are not too low. This is where Dutch testing comes into play. Dutch test is fantastic for making sure that we are not missing a dang thing when it comes to your hormones. We want to, um, one of the things I commonly see, especially with gals who have been under chronic stress, stress or had birth controls, things like that, is that your androgen levels will be lower. And then as the body ages, they um, get to a subclinical level, which means they might be technically within range, but they're not at a functional range for you so that they're helping build and maintain that lean muscle without having that estrogen level there like it used to be. So that's really key and important. Um, your progesterone levels also drop. Progesterone is helpful for increasing that basal body temperature and really helping tap into that thermogenic fat burning component that your system naturally has. So just a few different things um, that go on that can help your system with maintaining your overall metabolic rate that through perimenopause we need to shift and adjust. So again, a few things I mentioned here uh, that are really helpful. The other thing that changes is your digestive system, your gut health. How your system processes nutrients, specifically carbohydrates, change. Now this doesn't mean that you shouldn't eat carbs, like your body needs carbs, it's healthy to eat carbohydrates, that's totally fine, but we need to adjust uh, timing of it and um, uh, different types of carbohydrates, complex, simple carbohydrates, get a good blend in of both to make sure that we're addressing all the nutrient needs for your new body that you're living in and we're not missing out on anything. So these are just some quick, easy things that you can do to shift and change right now to make sure that your system has a great transition into menopause. And if you're already in menopause and you're like, well, dang it, uh, I've already gained that weight. Now what do I do? Because I'm trying all these things and I have to work really hard to take off just a few pounds and it doesn't sustain. What the heck, right? Don't worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. We work with your hormones, we shift these things nutrient-wise, make sure we're maintaining that lean muscle, and then we also make sure that your digestive system is functioning really, really well. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get this going, but you absolutely can have a good metabolism even while you're in menopause.
So that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any other questions um, and I will chat with you later. Thank you.